The June monthly awards program drops on Friday, July 7th. In the comments section, who do you think deserves cards in the program, including the 99 overall lightning card? We also got our first bit of information about season three, set three collections, and we're going to talk about that a little later in the video. But first, let's talk about the June players of the month. In the American League, Shohei Otani was the player of the month for June. He hit 394 for his average with 15 home runs the most in the major leagues 29 rbi and ops again this is number one in the majors of 1444 for the month of june and this is all in addition to a 3.26 era on the mound 37 strike counts in about 30 innings and is that not just one of the best single months we've ever had from a major league baseball player we're truly witnessing history in front of our very eyes with Shohei Otani and he is my pick for the 99 overall lightning card now I also have no clue if they'll actually do it if they'll actually make him that lightning card because the all-star game is right around the corner so he could easily get a 99 from the all-star content but no matter what I think that set three is going to be starting with a bang I'm a little bit scared for team affinity three but that's not really what we're talking about here today we'll touch on it a little bit later in the video but i'm interested to see if otani gets the lightning card or if it's going to be somebody else maybe it's going to be ronald acuna jr he was the national league player of the month for june and in june he had a 356 average 429 obp 683 slugging with nine homers 22 rbi and 14 steals in the month of june he actually became the first player ever in major league baseball to have 20 or more homers and 35 or more steals before the all-star break so similar to Shohei Otani, I think that Ronald Acuna Jr. could easily get a 99 overall card as part of the all-star content. But on the other hand, I'd also be super happy to get a lightning 99 overall Ronald Acuna Jr. as part of the June monthly awards program. And at this point, I think they should just do two lightning cards every single month, especially this month. One from the American League one from the national league they're not giving us 99s in any of the other programs why not two in the monthly awards now in addition to the lightning card we have been getting 98 overalls 97s 95s in the rest of the monthly awards programs so if we take a look at some of the other official award winners we have the players of the month but what about the pitchers of the month james paxton won the american league pitcher of the month for june with a 1.74 earned run average with 34 strikeouts to only six walks and 18 hits over 31 innings i still remember when he got the lightning card one year and i was just terrible with it now i feel like i'm just terrible with james paxton cards in general but i wouldn't be that surprised to see him get a card in the june monthly awards program i also wouldn't be surprised to see the national league pitcher of the month blake snell to get a card in the new program and didn't we have a a, a blake snell card one year that everyone really liked using i don't really remember what game or what card but that just seems to ring a bell in my head now either way he had 53 strikeouts in the month over 31 innings that's the same amount of innings as james paxton but 19 more strikeouts and his 53 strikeouts actually led the entire majors and this was to go along with his 0 0.87 era 0 0.68 whip while holding his opponents to a 124 average and ops of only 384 could you imagine if he got the 99 lightning card because ronald acuna jr and shohei otani are already going to be getting 99s from the all-star content i think the community would just riot if that happened now sticking with official rewards we also had the rookies of the month in the national league it was corbin carroll and i feel like this could be a good time to give him a set three card a monthly awards card because if we take a look he does have a 99 overall but you'll notice it's part of set one and that's not usable on Friday, which is when the new monthly awards come out. So I would assume those new monthly awards cards are going to be set three. How about a set three monthly awards Corbin Carroll to kick off July to kick off season three? But if you didn't know, he's actually an all-star game starter. So 
maybe they're not going to give him a card because he's probably going to get one as part of the all-star content that seems to be a theme today it seems to be a theme for the best players in the month of june but you know who's not part of the all-star content that's right gunner henderson the american league rookie of the month for june and this would be a great time to give him a card similar to corbin carroll Gunnar Henderson also has a set 199 that's not going to be usable unless you're using him as that wild card on Friday. So, hey, perfect timing to be giving Gunnar Henderson, who's not part of the All-Star rosters, a monthly awards card. In June, he had a 320 average, 6 home runs, 16 RBI, and a 994 OPS. Sticking with the Orioles, sticking with official awards, we had the relievers of the month, Felix Bautista for the American League. If we take a look at the Orioles' other cards, he had a monthly awards card for May. I don't think he's probably going to get back-to-back -back months for June. And the National League's reliever of the month was Craig Kimbrell, who, as part of the May tops now cards had this 99 overall so i'm not sure if they're going to give him a june monthly awards card when he had a 99 in the may tops now could tell Marte had a great month of june 1040 ops was fifth in all the baseball seven home runs and his only other card is this 99 which is part of set one and won't be usable friday lane thomas only has his live series card and with a 340 average that was seventh in all the baseball for the month of june so i could see him getting a card in this monthly awards program and we just said seventh was lane thomas at 340 christian walker had a 347 average for the month of june and his only other card is part of set one which won't be usable friday josh naylor was third for the month of june with a 370 average and his only other card is part of set one which won't be usable friday Luisa rise led the entire mlb second was otani by the way but arise was first with a 406 batting average for the month of june and his only other card is part of set one which again won't be usable friday but it was a monthly awards card so i'm not sure if they would give him another one just a couple months later but this uh, one card won't be usable once these june monthly awards cards come out if it's anything like the past while editing this video or right after it gets uploaded we'll probably have some more new information but we did get our first bit of information about set three collections i'm gonna be the show tweeted new series means new collections we've got so much content coming that will help you complete those collections and earn these great rewards and they showed this picture with five diamonds and i saw a lot of replies to this tweet saying things along the lines of five or five cards for set three collections oh mama but if we take a look at set one collections there's also five cards here we have the 99 jazz 99 tray and then the 399s in this pack if we take a look at the set two collections we'll go ahead and notice that we have a 99 goose a 99 big poppy and the 399s as part of the pack i gotta think that set three is going to be similar and that's probably why we're seeing five diamonds in the pick and that we're not going to be getting two bonus cards two bonus collection packs either way i can't wait to see who the new collection rewards are i also can't wait to see what team affinity season three is like that's also dropping on friday and i gotta think that each team's getting a 99 overall right with how bad some of the other programs have been and even though we got 97s in season one and 97s in season two season three will be different right but if it is 97s again does anyone agree that the grind needs to be a bit shorter than it is in the past did you see yesterday's video on screen thanks for watching today's daily upload i'll see you in tomorrow's as well peace